Soweto is the largest township in South Africa. However, that does not exclude it from the township that suffer uh, from poor service delivery. The township face issues such as lack of electricity, job scarcity, poor infrastructure, as well as housing-related issues. With that being said, on the 21st of June 2022, the community members of Soweto marched to the office of the Johannesburg Mayor Mpo Palazzi to say enough is enough to poor service delivery. Three months later, the mayor met with the residents to give them feedback, but the question is, will the issue of service delivery in Soweto, especially that of electricity, be resolved? We will find out later. For now, good evening. My name is Zola Shalwana. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Now today we will zoom in on the issue of lack of service delivery in Soweto. As mentioned above, Johannesburg Mayor Mpo Palazzi met with the community members of Soweto this past weekend to address them on the issue, starting by apologizing for the three-month delay in, the me in meeting them. Every region and every community of Johannesburg plays its part in keeping the city and the economy of the country going. The job that this multi-party government has to do with you, the residents, is a mammoth one, which we do not take for granted. Not even for a moment of the day do we abandon our duties to you. This government will never profess to be perfect or to always agree but what we can say without hesitation or ambiguity is that we love this city. And we will focus our efforts on ensuring that the service delivery needs of our residents are carried out. We shall never shy away from engaging with you, our resident, even when those responsibilities do not lie within our sphere of authority. The multi-party government stands in service to you. When you marched to the Metro Center on Tuesday, the 21st of June, 2022, I made a commitment to personally respond to the volume of memoranda that were delivered to me. When we were unable to respond within the committed time, I communicated that with you. At each landmark, lines of communication were open, and we submitted formal written responses. When I unfortunately fell ill, the decision was made to postpone this day because the commitment was that I, on behalf of the Joburg multi-party government, would personally address the service delivery issues and emergencies that are detailed in your memoranda. Even with the motion of no confidence hanging over me and this executive, we are here today to provide feedback relating to, in the main, electricity from ESCOM and the obligations that we as the city have to you, our residents. Regardless of where you live in Johannesburg, we have a responsibility to you. Even if it means mediating conversations and solutions from provincial and national governments, departments, and entities. The makeup and status of Joburg means that its complexities require all role players across all government spheres to work together in service to our residents. The mayor went on to say that Soweto is the heart of the city of Johannesburg and therefore the city cannot function without the township. She says she heard the cries of the residents, especially that of electricity, adding that she will go as far as marching with them if their demands are not met within 14 days. This is an acknowledgement that first, we want the economy of Soweto to flourish for and by Sowetans. Second, 
it reinforces the fact that it is the private sector that creates jobs, not the government. It is our job to ensure that the necessary policies and infrastructure is in place. We are working with all stakeholders, especially the private sector, to not only repair and rebuild Soweto, but the whole of Johannesburg. We heard you loud and clear. We've listened to you, and we are here to say that if ESCOM do not produce a concrete action plan with timelines, and if the minister does not respond to us in writing within the next 14 working days with a plan of action, I will personally lead a march with the residents to ESCOM in efforts of getting an effective, timely solution. We will announce a date. I want my counterparts in national government to come down and help us and work with us. We're not looking to create an adversarial relationship, but I want ESCOM to know that our people are in pain. Therefore, let us work together and help each other. Residents of Soweto, the multi-party government is at work in this community and in the entire city. This government is stronger and more stable than before. The strength of our multi-party government depends on us building strong communities across Johannesburg. We need Soweto and our residents to support us in our mission to rebuild and repair our beautiful city. When we came into office, one of my very first issues that I had to contend with as a newly elected mayor was the issue of ESCOM in Soweto. At the time, I had no staff and no MMCs, yet I immediately engaged ESCOM on your behalf. Since December last year, we've been in constant dialogue with ESCOM. In all of my conversations and meetings, I've engaged in good faith with ESCOM, affording them the time and space required to address these issues. When you marched to the city, we subsequently invited ESCOM to provide a response and to work with us in coming up with a sustainable solution to addressing the issues which have plagued Soweto for years. On 12 July, I wrote to the ministers of public enterprise, finance, and mineral resources and energy, as well as to the ESCOM CEO, requesting their intervention. In my letter, I asked the minister and the CEO to consider writing off Soweto's debt and to reconsider a different debt repayment model. Now, some residents feel that the event was a success because the mayor showed up and promised to deliver, while some feel otherwise. On that note, let's go for a quick ad break, and when we come back, we will look at some of the responses from the community leaders. Do not go anywhere. Welcome back. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. For those who just tuned in on the show, we are unpacking the lack of service delivery in Soweto and the response that the Johannesburg Mayor Mpo Palazzi gave to the residents after they submitted a memorandum of demand to her in June. ESCOM representative Dev Defni Mukwena addressed the crowd talking about the issue of electricity. It's been a while since you submitted your memorandum, we did co commit to respond to it, I think it was within 30 days. I believe that the written feedback has been sent. So, memorandum. Because when we looked at uh, the memorandum, most of the issues that were raised were issues regarding failed mini subs. The 
di transforma tse chileng. So since le delivery le memorandum ko mayor ya ya city of Joburg, we've replaced about ten mini subs. One of the major issues in a le 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 complain a guy ona in a le le di kolo telong kore di affecti loke these mini subs. Now, when the issue ya hare to replace a di mini sub, normally we'll say we want to convert you to prepaid. That's number one. Hey, Senko, o convert you to prepaid. Hey, le ho rai so convert you to prepaid. Ba aki ba mo letane le batla di ba hiti. Hey, le ho rai so unko o convert you to prepaid. We then will engage with you so that we convert you to prepaid. Na ho rain re convert a di customer to prepaid. So we converting customers to prepaid. One of the reasons why we convert the customers to prepaid. Kyokor, the minister put it to the chang. The chokale ho chaka rate the edi chang kayo na kona no. Mare hello ra haribere kisane lelona. The minister put it to the chang. Mugwena's address on the power issue was not welcomed by the residents. She was booed when addressing the tempering of meter boxes and the fee applied to those who are found guilty of tempering. We are now rolling out prepaid meters. As I have stipulated by Tommy Lego. Baki bata di le bona ba itso gore retla Baki ba CWJ ba itso re ko Baki ba mo fole north re ko ra bereka Baki ba Rockville le baki ba White City re sense ne retla ko around October Now all these efforts Listen, Kore, Kore and Kotenka prepaid. Hansi, Hansi, 99% of the time. Bahi, Banebasa Patel, Honalis Colot. As Escom, Reteris Colot, Seo, Raseba Kotoko. Bunzi Balona Halesa Gradi Billy Sellet and Edith Farisa di Hata Tech. Kaunerezeresekolotoselerasebakotokorarekaprepaid. Now, he said, Netebo talk. Now, what we did, what we did with the community as zone three, which is what we are doing with all of the other areas in Soweto and elsewhere. Raberu Kwana, Raberu Kwana for 6,000 a 6,000 Remember. Ki se te ki te re se kolo to se le sa di te ti tauze. Ka se be la ko toko. Ba non ke re 6,000 e ke e patele khanyan e khanyan. 
now. Khanyani Khanyani means in seven months. Let's take a short breather and after the ad break, I will continue with our topic. Welcome back to SOTA Today. Thank you for staying with us. We're still on the Johannesburg Mayor Mpo Palazzi's response to the issue of service delivery in Soweto. Community representatives took to the stage and reiterated their dissatisfaction rather, on poor service delivery, despite the mayor saying that she has plans to tackle the issue. <laughs> By then, in the Minyani, they were never sent this to the one. And the Sinyan is about 6,000. But I told you, 6,000. You can't come here, Mosso, to talk about the Karuna song. We fought for this so way too. Esco, we take so about Karuna, Riatiba, and we are aware of the Esco, but the problem is the official Esco. Problem is not going to the Registrar. The Registrar is the A. The Registrar is the Telecom from the Telecom. The Esco is the Registrar. And never the project Esco. Esco must not go anywhere. We are not stupid. Today, Rimo, is because of the Ale. Homozo the Ale died for the cable. He started to talk about Fella. He started to talk about the Ashwe. Matuakan Chauzo cable. The next thing I remember, Lata Maritunia, Babula and the Ale. But Escom never did nothing. Escom. A religious dental site to me. Mama Jeffin and our mother so to get a child. A go so where to Modi Chartins are not an animal box. I have come back to our honey, Horvaka Tibor, but Charity Savona, the Patari Sava to Kess, Maruna Patali Rente Chartins Savona Shuan. How fell about to Mama Anima Box and the Charting, the Matama Kola and Tony Sua, who didn't tell us about Patali Rente for the past forty two years. But Maruna Tabasa Tony next. Maruna gets a box of one and charting some more. Another community leader, Gyabetsui Malibo, came forward to speak about empty promises from the mayor, saying it, saying it is hard to take a word as she keeps on disappointing them. I think Tawang we quit. I think Tawang we quit. Tawang addresses any issues that Runa Kaufela because of your crying for basic needs. What resit a mafu or shaban loona? What resit a matata rona? Run a problem a cable theft. Uh, we have a bigger problem, but to Baba Hulu that, but to Baba Batur Mamel. Recupa Mamel or SO attends. We are bleeding as a community. We came here when we marched to your office as the city. We were saying, Mayor and the city. Community as so way to Ridikutana, Auna Batuana Barashokomela. We are not here to discredit you. We are only saying, Here is so wetens, Medef, Nerlukopa, and Liliba Bay, you want Luna Liba to Babome, Liatiba Bushoko, Beltsamanghu, the Pupelo Saluna. You are the naturers of society, nature our communities. And lastly, Soweto Parliament President Ntlantla Lax also took to the stage to close off what the representative had to say. He took to the mayor's office. Mayor's office. Ungutwi lakari Dr. Mpopala Atagir. He said mayor's office. Mayor's office. The previous mayor. The late mayor. Mpomu Irani had signed an MOU with ESCOM. Some of us have the copies of those MOUs. We don't want to understand your differences as political parties. We want results for the people. We are saying that we are going to post that MOU because in that MOU, it was addressing the debt that Soweto is owing ESCOM. One of the things, 
that Mpomi Rani did before Chokofa. Another thing that is important in that MOU was Mpomi Rani had said to ESCOM, let's calculate the total value of the infrastructure that is owed, that is owned by ESCOM in Soweto, so that the city can buy it from ESCOM, so that the Rikonon Tuala Pile Esbat without ESCOM is to Pabat. If this meeting was a meeting that is held in Sentin, the CEO of ESCOM, Tirete, would be here honoring the meeting. Instead, Tirete sends a black woman. Yes, it's a responsibility. But there's the serious thing in history that let them be divided and let them fight amongst ourselves. It will never happen under my leadership, that this woman is going to be fought by her own people. So, Ritom Lel Laurentu, Arai Shebisa Uwe, Nakuru Fela Utsiling. Engu wa chifta nyani, Ritile libo tireite, Rete ntue raite, Tama yang foba tuvaru na moso weto. So, I don't want you to live here, thinking that the people of Soweto have a problem with you, gorgeous lady. No one has a problem with you here. So, Tireite Mwalinteng, Tireite must know, how nan tuer saite bi. The leadership of the people doesn't speak because it's not an opportunity. We speak because we are informed about what we are speaking about. That cable that runs from the, 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 the substation straight to the Reiter's complex and area, or Rianas Kabali, load sharing, rights eba. I know go from Shalori, Retsibata Bataru. We are going to dress at the Reiter, as so as a king to Nya. As Comrade Kwa, La Ribatus Rabble, like in Turkayeta. As a way forward, as a way forward, I want you to only take what I'm going to tell you home. Everything else was noise, with all due respect, from both ends. Because I not to the plan of action. Nan to snang action nili na ko aki baati. Action nili ntenki ye. What counselors and all the principals in those wards, community leaders, haritu amo, the first thing we are doing on Monday, we are going to identify three young people from each ward. That's three times 42 wards in Soweto. Those young people are going to be taken by ESCOM to be trained as technicians with immediate effect. I don't care about the capacity and the protocols. We are going to deliver these 100 plus, 4812. 120 plus young people from Soweto to be trained as technicians. We are tired of waiting for the technicians to on course at Tibin Dirulakai. Because the technicians are receiving, get on at out on the cable, get on at the infrastructure on Soweto. If I'm a young person, there is a technician in my ward. I know that there's no way I can steal a cable because it affects my parents, my grannies, and my neighbors. So we are tired of the incompetency that is caused by Batubarta Batibim Batueta in Chomoso Weto. Nothing for us without us. Ritwa Batuwa Ela Bayeta and Tuwa Bayeta and because are pilele bona. Abadit Lise and Toteo, Rona Rikasidi Sebedi Isi. So Weto, we passed a resolution in Parliament with all law enforcement present, all councillors present, all hostels present, all tax associations present, and everyone else that is a leader in Soweto. The resolution that we passed in case it didn't get to the ESCOM CEO and management is that Soweto officially now has infrastructure that allows each ward to raise its own funds. Service delivery is an everyday struggle and we do hope that after the long wait from the residents, questions and pleads will be answered. Well, that's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to engage with us about the show by simply sending us an email on Today at sowetotv.co.za. Alternatively, you can also contact us on 011-933-3000. From myself and the rest of the team, we will see you in the next news bulletin that's coming right after this. Goodbye.